Hockey 605 here with Noel Needham with Legend Hockey. Uh, we're here at the Sioux Falls Ice and Rec Center. Uh, got a pretty active bunch of guys here. Yeah, this is our boys elite group. Um, we're getting into our last week here, a month-long training program. Uh, a lot of these guys are going to end up playing midget AAA juniors and uh, a couple college college players out here. You know, I see a few guys I recognize already uh, who we saw at the high school varsity tournament uh, last spring in Brickey. Yep, absolutely. Um, you've got some Sioux Falls kids here, uh, Fargo, Omaha AAA, Brookings, um, Aber there's a goalie from Aberdeen here. So what's the point of uh, what, what all they're uh, doing here today? Uh, so what their schedule is, is they train the whole month. They're on the ice three days a week for three hours a day. And then they also lift four days a week. They do kickboxing twice a week and yoga twice a week. So it's a prepare, preparing them for tryouts, junior tryouts. And we also bring in guest coaches for exposure. So this is, a, this is a camp just that Legend puts on for these guys who want to seek a little higher level? Yep, absolutely. And we've got uh, three different groups. We've got two boys groups, a girls group, and then um, I guess the goalies kind of have their own thing as well. In the off chance that somebody is watching this video that doesn't know much about Legend Hockey, why don't you kind of fill us in on, on what you guys do? Well, we, uh, we do boarding camps uh, for youth players. We do a lot of training programs. We're pretty involved here in Sioux Falls. And then we do these elite development camps for exposure and moving kids on out of state. So how many of these guys do you suppose are going to be uh, eventually able to go get in a junior, in a junior team? There is probably nine or ten that have the ability to play. Some of them already play juniors. There were some stampede players that were training with us that they are off to their college um, preseason stuff right now. But uh, it, this is a good group of kids. Well, more than likely, the next time you hold one of these camps, it's going to be up at the new Iceplex, huh? That's correct, yep. And then uh, we won't have to bus people back and forth. I was reading in the paper the other day that they're having some uh, little bit of controversy about shutting this old uh, sheet of ice down to make way for the new one, but uh, it looks to me like that makes a lot of sense, just having a new two-sheet rink. Yeah, I think so. I, I don't think it's a bad thing to keep this open necessarily just because I think hockey's going to really explode here. And you've got tournaments that you could utilize it for and so forth, but the three new sheets are going to make a huge impact here. Well, Noel, we've got uh, you know a lot of players around the state right now who are uh, you know thinking ahead, uh, not too far away to high school hockey. What are uh, what are three things that those players should be doing right now to prepare their bodies and minds for the high school season? Uh, right now, they need to be in the weight room. That's first and foremost, and they need to shoot pucks, and they've got to try and find some ice time. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. Well, hopefully we'll get an interview or two with some of these guys as they leave. And uh, oh, by the way, you, you uh, mentioned that you had some guest coaches uh, uh, here with us. Who are some of those uh, guest coaches that you've had? Our guest coaches that we've had here, uh, we've had uh, Dallas Stewart from Sioux Falls Stampede, Matt Millar from Dubuque Fighting Saints, Kyle Gustafson from uh, Portland Winterhawks, a friend of mine that's an NHL agent who's heading out to the NHL draft tomorrow. Um, we're going to have the Brookings Blizzard here on Friday. We've had two NHL skills coaches here, skating and shooting. Um, head coach for North Dakota, women's coaches here. So quite a few Quite a few people. Great way for these players to take advantage of your extensive uh, connections in the hockey world, huh? Yeah, yeah, and they are. I mean, they. The, the biggest thing that these coaches who don't normally do stuff like this, but they like coming out here because of how hard these kids work and how respectful they are, and and so they they've earned this. You know, you you look around and you see how hard these kids work, but I mean, it looks to me like. Unless you're one of those guys, you'll never ever, or girls, you'll never be a hockey player unless you're willing to work really hard. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's okay to play other sports, but hockey's a really difficult sport and you need to have a lot of ice hours. So, a lot of work. Well, Noel, thanks again for your time and uh, look forward to seeing what Legend Hockey is doing for these kids in the future. Yeah, thank you.